Hi, this is Fiat. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Uh. Okay, so it's been a while. Like September, October a while. I'm going to tell you what's been going on. Okay, first I have to say, because I always start off my videos with my hair. Um, I do have sister locks. I decided to lock, and I did this back December 20th. Um, this is my fourth set of locks and my second set of sister locks. So that's what's going on. I'm keeping my sides and my back tapered because I like the look of it. So that's what's going on. So happy holidays, Merry New Year, and all that good stuff. Because like I said, it's been a while. Um, I don't know if y'all can see in, this, in the video, but my lip is swollen right here. So two weeks ago, I tried a friend of mine's. I tried her sushi. I don't eat sushi. I don't really eat. Um, I don't eat like seafood, not for real. I'll eat fish, but I don't eat anything else. Anyway, trying to do something different. I tried her seafood, her, her sushi. Sorry, my glasses are just, okay, whatever. Tried her sushi and I woke up and my lips were swollen. So I had an allergic reaction. Went to ER, blah, blah, blah. They said it was an allergic reaction. But I found that since then, my lip swells now. So I'm not even sure if it was because of the sushi. I don't know. But if you see, it's a little area right here. It's swollen. I don't know what's going on. So, okay. Why was I on hiatus? What the heck was I doing these past few months? So, number one. So, back in October, I ran into two of my exes. With one of them, I had to let go of the anger and bitterness I felt when I saw her. Because it was just unnecessary. Then... You know, because the shit didn't work. It's like, whatever. Just move on. It didn't work. But with the other ex, it was supposed to be different because we were still cool. Now, I'm not doing the air quotes because we were still messing around or anything like that. But it's because I really thought that we were that we were friends. You know, we both moved on. We still kept in contact. We um, used each other as a sounding board. You know, things like that. But... The time came when I actually saw her and her girlfriend together, like in, in public, in person, because I hadn't seen her in months, you know, my ex that is. So when I tell y'all, my ex acted like she didn't even know me. Like she didn't just call me the day before and like she didn't just text me the day of. I was pissed at first and then that turned into hurt. Um, since I'm all about addressing my emotions and stuff like that, I asked myself, why was this so painful? And it was because I was pouring more into her than she was into me, similar to what I was doing when we were together. And ultimately the reason why we broke up in the first place. So it turns out that she was telling her girlfriend that we weren't cool, that we weren't friends, that we weren't talking, none of that that we weren't cool. So I wasn't prepared for that pain and it took me a few weeks to catch my footing. So I won't lie, it still hurts because I really thought we were, were friends, but I had to push past it because I know my worth and I know my value and I don't need friends like that. I mean, if you gotta fake like we friends, it's like, dude, I'm straight on you. So she apologized, I forgave her. We, we ain't going to be cool. We can't be cool. So, second thing I've been doing is I'm back in school. I mentioned in another video how I've been going to school off and on for the past 15 years. And I don't have a degree to show for it. So, my goal is to get my degree just for the sake of saying that I got one. Pretty much. And I've also been writing. I've been writing like crazy. I got a one-woman show hitting the stage later on this year. And I also have some film shorts dropping throughout the year and the first one is set to drop March 12th 2016 I'm super stoked about that and I will be sharing them on YouTube and hopefully y'all will find meaning in them and share them as well so overall this is number four I know I'm going so fast but I'm trying to get it in overall I am enjoying my journey of growing into a better me I am still single and I am okay with it I am learning things about me as it relates to my views on romantic relationships. And at this time, I do not desire to be in one. But the hardest part for me, though, is the loneliness. 
Because then my mind be Free. trying to perform And it had something. me thinking that I need a mate. And that's not it at all. What I've discovered is that I need friends, like companionship. Not the commitment of a romantic relationship because I love spending time alone. I love my space. Love my space. I love my freedom. And I just want to be able to have that handful of people that I can call on when I want to go to the movies, go out to eat, or go to an event. And um, I found that those are the only times that I get lonely when I really want to do something and none of the people that I call on are available. But other than that, I'm good over here. Like, for real, I am. So that's what's been going on. I hope this gives you some insight and helps you in some way. No one said the journey would be easy, but what you gain along the way makes the trip worthwhile. In order to heal, you got to keep it real. Don't stop till you get there. Bye, y'all.